Hey, what's going on you guys? Matt here. And in today's video, I just want to showcase some of the cool things I picked up at the Days of the Dead Horror Convention that happened this past weekend in Indianapolis, Indiana, as well as talk about some of the cool moments I had with some of the, the celebrities that were there. So let's get started. So the first thing I picked up at the convention is this official Days of the Dead t-shirt. And one reason I really fell in love with this shirt is that it was Terrifier themed. And as you can see from behind me and my shirt here, I am a huge fan of the Terrifier franchise and Art the Clown. Art the Clown is my second favorite horror character of all time behind Michael Myers. So once I saw this shirt, I knew I had to get it. It has Art the Clown, Victoria, and the Pale Girl. It was a must buy. Once me and my fiance saw the shirt, we had to get it. So we bought the shirts, they're about $25 each. Not bad for a t-shirt. And I've been, I already wore it. I'm, I rocked it the next day and it, it's, a, it's such a great shirt. I actually can't wait to wear it again. It's in the wash right now. So it was a must buy for me, rocking the Terrifier swag all day, every day. So the second thing I picked up is this Art the Clown enamel pin. One thing you should know about me is that I love horror enamel pins. I have a full denim jacket full of horror related enamel pins that I usually wear this jacket out around fall to horror conventions, around Halloween, etc. And it just has all my favorite horror characters on there. So I, once I saw this, I had to pick it up, add another Art the Clown enamel pin to my jacket so I could be rocking some more Art the Clown this fall. My, my fiance, she got one as well. It had Art the Clown, the Pale Girl, and Victoria all in one. Man, I really wanted that one, but there was only one, so I let her have that. So this is fine. I can add to my jacket. Once I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up. So the third thing I picked up is this VHS copy of Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. And if before you say anything, yes, I got a VHS copy of Friday the 13th. And the reason why is I've been really getting into VHS horror. I mean, not that I really watch it. It's just I like like the collecting it. It just kind of goes back to the old schools when I was a kid. I watch a lot of VHS movies. And once you see this out, out there for only about 15 bucks, I knew I had to have it. It's a collector's edition. One thing about me is I'm a physical media collector. I like the 4Ks. I like the Blu-rays. And something about having a VHS of a movie you love on the shelf, it really just makes you happy. If you haven't watched Friday 13th Part 7, I'd really tell you to check it out. It's kind of like Carrie versus Jason. And that's that's the way I can kind of describe it. It's a very fun movie and it's Kane Hodder's first time playing Jason. If you don't know who Kane Hodder, he probably is a lot of people's favorite Jason. He is the embody of Jason, in my opinion. He's he's my favorite Jason. And it, it was his first movie, you now the four he played. And he did a great job. He really established himself as that character. So once I saw this on VHS, I said, heck, why not? I'll pick it up. It goes around the shelf and it looks great with my uh, Friday the 13th collections. So, yep, picked up Friday the 13th Part 7 on VHS. And it looks great in my horror collection. So before I show you my, the fourth and final thing I picked up at the convention, I, I wanted to talk about some of the celebrities I met. Uh, there's a lot of celebrities that was at this event. They had, you know, a lot of the groups from Terrifier 2. They had uh, a lot of people from The Living Dead. They had uh, Alyssa Sutherland from The Evil Dead Rise. They had Derek Mears from Friday the 13th, 2009. They had a lot of great horror celebrities there, so I knew I had to meet some. The first one me and my fiance met was Samantha Scafidi. And if you don't know who that is, that she plays Victoria in Terrifier and Terrifier 2. And she, man, she was so nice. We had a great conversation with her about the movies. She signed this great photo of her holding Arthur Clown's head in Terrifier 2. And man, we, we kind of talked to her about what her role will be in Terrifier 3. She says in Terrifier 3, she will have a bigger role and it's just going to get more crazy from there. If you haven't watched the Terrifier movies, I'm telling you right now, go check them out. It's amazing franchise, amazing, amazing franchise. But yeah, me and her met her, such a, such a nice woman, such a nice time talking with her. I just can't wait to see what she does as Victoria in Terrifier 3, which is releasing next fall, 2024. 
So the second celebrity we met at the convention is Derek Mears. If you don't know who Derek Mears is, he played Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th 2009 remake. And man, this guy is a massive dude. If, if you, this dude, this dude is just massive. He's like six five. He was he played an amazing Jason, such an intimidating, huge Jason, the biggest Jason that's ever been on the screen. And man, he. he but the thing is, even though he played a menacing, powerful being of a man, he's a very nice guy. He's he's a very freaking nice dude. This dude was freaking so freaking nice to me and my fiance when we met him. And one thing I also saw with him is that there was a, a fan that was in front of me in line. He didn't have any money. He went up to him, he just wanted to meet him. And Derek said, do you want a, do you want a selfie? And he gave the guy a selfie for free. There's not many many celebrities that would do that. Another thing he, he was telling us that while after the guy left, he's like, I don't like charging for for, for autographs. I, I do I do it because I have to, but I really don't like it. I just like meeting people and seeing the fans. And the, I can just say that that is an amazing dude. He is an amazing dude. He was so down to earth. And when we talked to him, he was just such, an, such a great guy. And we got this autograph here of him in the Jason costume from the 2009 movie. And, and it just it just goes right there up there in my wall. So after we met Derek, it was time to run to our Art the Clown photo op. One thing me and my fiance always do when we go to a convention and Art the Clown is there, David Howard Thornton, we always get a pro professional photo op with him every single time. Because let me just tell you, having a picture with Art the Clown is just something that's so funny and just so nice to put on the wall and look at my man, I actually got a photo with Art the Clown himself. So here's our photo with Art the Clown. We Once we went in there, we saw that they had the the glasses that he wears in Terrifier 2 in the costume shop. And I was like, hey, can I, can he, can he wear those? So yeah, he's he, easy he put them right on. And it was such a funny photo. And hey, a scare fest is coming. He's going to be there in Lexington in October. And we already have a plan to get another photo op with the man himself, Art the Clown. So the last thing I picked up at the convention, I was looking all around, trying to find if there's one one more thing I want to I want to bring home with me. One more thing I really wanted to spend a little bit of money on, because I like I like picking some some big good stuff up at conventions, and I was I was looking and looking and looking, and lo and behold, I saw it. I saw it, and you kind of see it in the background. I'll show a whole whole clip of it here. It's an Art the Clown bust of Art the Clown's face right back there. It is such an amazing piece it looks just like art in the movie and i had to have it so this guy was selling it i knew i had to have it so i got it picked it up and i thought to myself wait a second david howard thornton art the clown is here in this building right now how about i get this thing signed so i ran over to art the clown got in his line he was he was literally taking off the makeup at the same time so i had to wait a few minutes but once i was done i went up to him and got it signed and I talked to him for a little bit. I, I met him a few times, he's an amazing dude. I've told him multiple times, he's my favorite, he's one of my favorite slasher villains of all time. That I'm that every single time there's a convention, he's there, me and my fiance get a photo op with him. And he's just a, such, such a sweet and down to earth dude. So yeah, he signed the bust, it's, it's great. Now I have it in my collection that I have a head of Art the Clown signed by Art the Clown, David Howard Thorne himself in my collection. It's one of my favorite Art the Clown pieces that I have. And I just love looking at it. Have it look, look, I like having Art's face wanting to terrify me every single day. Well, guys, there you have it. That is my few of the things I picked up at the Days of the Dead Horror Convention in Indianapolis, as well as some of the moments I had meeting the celebrities there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.